Trent the Kid from Five Gaming Bros, and I am, uh, we are a new director on the Maven Network, so, yeah, pretty interesting. So right now, I'm going to give you a mod spotlight on what's called the Goblins mod. Now, at first, the Goblins mod might seem a little bit cheesy, and I thought it was, but after uh, fiddling around with it for a little bit, it's actually kind of cool. So uh, let's hop over into creative mode here, and we'll fly over to the Goblin Village. And these spawn all over the world. As you can see, there are two right next to them, so they don't seem as rare as, uh, well, the regular villages. So let's just go in here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of goblins. And if I do switch out of creative mode, they will attack me. Okay, you get the idea. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so what you're going to want to get in these uh, villages are these totem poles in the center. And what they will drop is, well, I'll show you later, but yeah, there's also like these chests in there, and you can get goodies in there, but the main idea is you want these totem poles. Alright, so let's go back to my little island here with my little crafting bench on it. No big deal. And the totem poles will drop these powders. And with these powders you can um, craft a whole bunch of stuff. So first let's start with uh, what they call the fame blade. So what you do is you put uh, two uh, powders together and you need two crystals to craft this and you put it in like you would a sword and this is the fame blade the flame bl blade and so if we go over here to one of these piggies and let's see it catches on on fire pretty nifty And as you can see, it, it it even drops cooked meat, which is really handy. So that's one thing that you can craft. And we'll get into the other stuff right now. So uh, let's do let's move on to the mystic powder. And you craft this like you would a shovel. And this is the um, the arcane staff. And actually, we're gonna need two of them because we're gonna craft something else with them. And wow, look at that, that's weird. It looks like you can only craft... Wait, what the heck's going on here? Oh, sorry. Let's see, I get a little bit confused there. You need the crystals, not the just the powders. And we need to craft two of them because we're going to be using another arcane staff. Alright, so now that we crafted our arcane staff, um, as you can see, it, it shoots these balls of magic and we'll try it out on these piggies again these are our test subjects oh well, there you go you get the idea alright the next thing we're going to be crafting is actually pretty handy if you think about it so um, this is with the nature powder so again craft it into the crystals and Unlike other mods, I believe these crafting uh, recipes are actually kind of easy compared to uh, other modding uh, mods, I guess, because they're just, and I hate mods like that because they're just so, like, sophisticated. But basically what this does is it's basically like bone meal, but I think it has, like, 50 uses. So, that's pretty handy. And uh, let's see what we got here next. All right, now we got to do the um, the lightning tool, I guess, if you want to call it. So again, into the crystal. And again, all the uh, these powders are from the totem poles. And what this does is this is probably one of my favorites. It shoots another ball of magic, but in, but instead of just hurting them. Well, oh, I guess it doesn't catch the thing. Yeah, you can just shoot things. 
it's, uh, I'm just gonna set it to sunrise real quick. And yeah, it, uh, lightnings things, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're gonna use our other arcane staff. And, uh, this is actually pretty cool too, if you think about it. So you get another crystal, and you get your arcane staff, and you get a teleportation staff. And this is basically like an ender pearl. Like that. Right? So. Pretty cool. Alright, next. We're gonna get into the, uh, the bow stuff. And I need a bow, which I forgot to get. Oh, right here. And you, and then you put this ectoplasm on it. And I don't know where you get this. I think it's from if you kill a, zo a goblin, it uh, it gives it to you. I'm I'm fairly certain. And then you can make really cool uh, like different kinds of arrows with it, right? So we'll just get a bunch of these and a bunch of these. I guess we'll just use all of them. I didn't really mean that, but whatevs. <laughs> and if this works, we should get All right, can't you can't make a lightning one. Can't use wait one second here. That's not how you make it. Let me check. Oh, so kind of interesting. You you only need to use the powder. Oh, you can't use a magic one, but you can make a, an explosive arrow, which is really awesome. And you can make a nature one, I think. And um, I don't think you can make a lightning one. No. Oh, those are crystals. Let's try and get. Hmm. Right here. All right. Yeah, see, you can get lightning ones, too, which is really cool. Alright, so, first we'll try out the nature ones. Ah, oh, that worked. Alright, and then, so the nature ones right here, if you shoot an arrow, and don't ask why my grass is a little bit gray, I don't know why. And yeah, it doesn't work on the side, you gotta... Maybe it's because it's all snowy. Oh, see, look, there's another goblin village, so... Pretty cool. Alright, this will work with... Alright, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be working. But, basically what it does... Oh, it might work on the sand. Uh, no, okay. Basically what it does is... It turns... it Like, wherever you shoot the arrow, it makes a tree. And wh wherever you shoot it, like, on grass. But if you shoot it on a, uh... A gra like a sand block, it makes a cactus. So that can come in can come in handy. So next we'll try the lightning ones. This is gonna be fun. And it looks like we need to try it on a mob. So this is how I get my little revenge on the mobs with the lightning. And if this will work, there you go. Whoa. Hello there, sir. Would you like to become one too? Alright, I'm gonna go run away. Alright, so now, probably my favorite is the explosive arrows, which are somewhere over here. Yeah, right here. If I can just pick up the explosive ones, if it'll work for me. Yeah, alright. So, let's try it. Yeah, there you go and you can wreck havoc on the land. Pretty cool. Alright, next we're gonna get into some TNT. So, just make some enchanted TNT, and I think, no, you can't make, oh, yes you can. But instead of using regular TNT, use enchanted TNT, and you can put some magic powder on it, and that makes arcane TNT. Alright, so let's go try these out. We'll go put these, and we'll go find a safe spot to um, try these out. This is going to be pretty scary. Hope my computer doesn't crash on me. All right, let's. All right, I'm running away. 
Whoa. So basically, that just destroyed everything. Bigger explosion, and I think it drops. It looks like it drops like every single block, which, I mean, that's really cool. Now we're gonna try this. And oh look, it's a runaway goblin. That's kind of scary. Um, and I'm gonna run away. Oh my gosh. And it looks like it made some water too. And a huge explosion. Huh. Oh my gosh, I just fell. <laughs> Alright, so, let's go. And that was the TNT. So, now, we're going to make two um, little tools, and then that'll be it. Alright, let's see here. So, first we're going to make a shuriken. We'll make a couple, I guess. And check it out. So you can get these things and pretty cool. And then I think, oh yeah, you can go pick them up too. Awesome. So, and then my last thing is Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. You have to use regular stone. And this is going to make a bomb. So you can just throw them. Oh, they don't work on ice, apparently. Throw them into this... Oh, shoot! Throw them into this cavern. And it makes a small explosion. It probably does lots of damage to mobs. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. So, pretty awesome. So, thanks for watching. Once again, this is Trent the Kid from the Five Gaming Bros. And I want to thank Maven Network for uh, letting us into their network. And uh, go check my channel out, the Five Gaming Bros. And I, do vi and I do videos along with four other of my friends. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And this is Trent signing out. Peace.